Lots of us who make hats have got these wig heads sitting around and the trouble is they get beaten up very, very quickly and they're also very, very small. Almost nobody, even a small child, has a head that small. So I've had an idea kicking around for a little while. I don't know if it's going to work. We're going to give it a try. The idea involves using this hat that went a bit wrong, to be honest. It died badly, it overfold, it's all but shapeless. But if I cut that into a vaguely hair sort of shape, something like that maybe? That is now a 21 and a half inch head size. That's not bad. And OK, it looks a little bit strange at the moment. But I reckon if I give it a coat of paper mache, so I've covered the entire head with glue, lots and lots and lots of it, and wedged the hood on. And I've used lots and lots of pins around the edges because that's where it sort of fell away from the head slightly. So that's going to dry and then I'm going to get busy with some brown paper and glue. So the bowl's just got brown paper and strips in really runny PVA and water. It's probably two thirds water to one third glue. And all you do is you get that really, really nice and soggy. I'm going to take the opportunity to repair my current stump head a bit while I'm at it. And then just stick bits down in a nice overlapping sort of way wherever it needs it. So this chap just needs a little bit of TLC because he's been in use for quite a long time. So it's on this one, and I'll take these pins out when that's properly set, but I think in a couple of hours. It's quite important to make sure that your first layer is really nice and soggy. Just smooth it in all over. And all of these bumps and bruises on the polystyrene, which, let's face it, isn't the most brilliant material in the world for holding nice shapes. Well, you can sort of just bandage over those and smooth it all out. And then when I get up to bits around the hairline, I'll just make sure that they that they overlap. These haven't stuck down very well yet. Let's get a nice soggy bit. There's a nice soggy bit. So sometimes long thin strips are the easiest way to get these first first layers. In. So I'm just going to keep going with that until the entire thing is covered and then I'll let it dry and usually I think two or three coats all over is about right for one of these stump heads. About halfway through the first layer now and you can start to see where it's going. I think this might, this might work. It's a bit of a bowl cut but then the sort of hats that are going to be modelled on it are from an era when that would have been quite a normal hairdo for a small person. So I'm about ooh, one and a half coats in and my lovely mother has brought me a restored glass of wine purely for medicinal purposes, which I think means it's time to oops, stop there for the day. <laughs> it's very sticky underneath, but you can see how it's going to be. So that's going to dry. If I'd soaked all of these pieces properly, they should tighten as they dry up, which will give a smooth finish, very similar to on my poor old beaten up chap here. And I'll put another coat on, paying particular attention to these little bits around the eyes and nose. That's where little teeny, teeny bits of paper really come into their own and around the edges of the hairline. And then once it's properly dry, we will try it on with a hat or two. Cheers. All finished and we've ended up at, what's that, 21 and three quarter inches, which is pretty much just about right for a child's head size. And to try it out properly, here's it next to a polystyrene head of the original starting size. And I've got two identical hats to try out. 
these two scholars hats are actually exactly the same size and I think you'll agree that the slightly funny hairdo that the new head block has really does the trick to give it a bit more of a sense of how a hat would look in use on a small head. So I think that's a win. It might not be the most elegant hat to stand in the world, but saved throwing away a really beaten up polystyrene form and that'll look absolutely fine to show off hats. Um, particularly when I'm out doing displays and trading events.